Good morning, everybody. I hope you missed me. So the main topic that we're going to talk about today is the reasons why you cannot get abs. I'm going to go through some key pointers of what people are missing out and they tend to do the wrong thing every single time. And welcome guys, welcome to Natural Physique. This is Leon. I'm gonna go over some simple pointers that's gonna enable you to get the results that you want. Because I know everybody's tried it. You've tried the fires and abs workouts in the morning. You've tried basically doing the amount of cardio. You've tried so many numerous of things. You gave up after a week and you didn't get the results. All you got left with, with a sore neck and a lower back pain. So I'm gonna show you some key tips that's gonna enable you to get the actual results. But before we start, we're gonna start with the first thing that I do in the morning, which is getting into this. A few moments later. Yeah, so the main reasons why I'm doing this video. A lot of my clients obviously in the past, previous ones have basically called me um, and messaged me and said, yeah, Leon, I want to get into the gym. I want to get fit again, but I only want to work on my abs. I'm like, okay, don't you want to work on everything overall? No, I just want to work on my abs. I just want to turn on my abs. Um, yeah, and I'm like, that's not, we can do it, I don't mind, we can do it, but I would basically require that you do everything overhaul, let's look on your posture, let's look on obviously your mobility, your flexibility, everything like that, let's see how you basically obviously your endurance is and your stamina. No, I just want to work on my abs. I'm like, whatever, but I'm guaranteed you're not going to get the results like that unless you basically, you've got a fast metabolism, you're in a calorie deficit, you're doing cardio obviously each time and then you're minimizing obviously from certain things like salt and sugars and obviously foods that obviously increase your insulin then yeah you get the results but guess what if you're still drinking if you're still smoking if you're still obviously not in a calorie deficit and you're drinking obviously a lot of obviously sugary calories as well and you're not eating the right foods then guess what i'm going to tell you something a little secret come closer come closer you're not going to get the results That's right, you ain't gonna get the results. So, the only way for you to actually go and get the results, you've got to make sure obviously you're doing these required things, then you're gonna be able actually to get the results that you need. First thing, make sure when you get up in the morning, what I tend to basically have is some spirulina and some wheatgrass as well. So if you wanna obviously do your research on that, go and check out some wheatgrass and also spirulina as well. We're gonna get into the next bit, which will be number two. Make sure you do some form of cardio in the morning. Fast food cardio would be the best thing for you. So you want to be able to do at least 30 seconds sprint, 10 seconds rest. If you want to increase it, try and aim for 45 minute sprint, 10 seconds rest. You want to do at least 10 rounds of these to start off your morning. And if you can't run, then you could do power incline, level 10, speed 5.5, 6 to 7. That's the first bit. On to the next bit. All right, so let's get into the actual food now. So in the morning, what I tend to basically do is have a high protein and also a high fiber breakfast. So this can be anything from scrambled eggs. And if you're vegan, have some mushrooms and also amaranth check out amaranth it's something that you can definitely have 
So amaranth is like a porridge, it's a super green, obviously food that you can basically have. You just mix it, you can add berries to it and eat it on its own. But for me personally, what I'll tend to basically have, I'll have some obviously like four to five um, egg whites and basically obviously one with a yolk. That would be my breakfast in the morning with um, some green tea or some ginger tea as well. So the main reasons why it's important to do cardio in the morning, it helps increase the metabolism as well, helps to burn more calories. And if you do on an empty stomach, so it's fasted cardio, then you're definitely gonna get the results if you do this at least four to five times a week in the morning. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to get up, go, get ready, get it out of the way and have the rest of the day to yourself, have your breakfast, then go and train in the afternoon and evening. So these things are all required to the times that you basically put in if you actually want the results. If you want to see more information what I did before, I did a 30 day workout program where I did the same thing. It was 30 days, no salt, no sugar. If you want to see more of that, you can definitely see that on the old video that is based on my YouTube channel. But listen guys, results can definitely show only if you put the work in. If you don't put the work in, you're not going to get the results, end up. So you can basically be doing all these diets, freaking, what is it, juicing diets, this, that and the other. But I guarantee you're not going to get the results if you just basically focus on just margining your time. You see, if you obviously you just arrange your time in the morning, you basically get up, go and obviously have something that you can quick have as a shot, whether it's a ginger shot or lemon and ginger or even a spirulina and wheatgrass to help with your digestion and everything. You go and have that in the morning, go do your fasted cardio, straight from there, have your breakfast. Make sure, even with your breakfast, I tend to mix it up. So if I don't have mushrooms or if I don't have eggs, I'll have either asparagus with some spinach and some turkey breast. Anything is just as simple as that. But the main key thing, as long as I'm having some form of high protein, high fiber in the morning, that's definitely gonna help to improve my metabolism and also put me on the route where I need to actually get to. Then I can go and have my oatmeal after obviously I finish my workout. That's what I'm gonna basically go and do just before my client now. So these are the main key things if you want the results. In the morning, make sure you do your fasted cardio. Have obviously your wheatgrass or your spirulina or ginger shot. Lukewarm water with lemon and ginger as well if you want that. If not, then you can have some water with some slice of lime in there. Straight from there, go do your cardio. If you don't want to be in the gym to go and do your cardio, get outside, go and go for a jog for 30 minutes. Give yourself a routine. Go and download one of these apps that obviously track your time. Each time you give yourself a progress. You might aim for about 3K obviously one day, um, 5K the next day. Give yourself a task. You're aiming for at least 10K per week. So even if you do two per day, that's obviously good enough results for you. Try and do that every morning. Straight after that, once you finish work, Go and hit your gym, do the weights. And ladies, listen, you will not gain weight if you use weights. If you're doing minimal weights, more repetition, you'll definitely get the results and you will not bulk up as well. So don't be scared of the weights. Yeah, my eggs starting to cook now. So yeah, with my eggs, I'll tend to have some um, spinach, asparagus, because it helps to get rid of water retention. If you don't like greens, especially with asparagus as well, try and have some dandelion, because dandelion helps against water retention in the body. So same thing with asparagus, it helps against water retention in the body to reduce it. So go and grab yourself some dandelion and fennel seeds as well. Stop wasting your time doing these fars and ab exercises that don't benefit you. Could you see someone else basically doing it? You think, because it works for them, it's gonna work for you. No, it don't. Everybody's body is different, yeah? They've obviously sacrificed a lot of things for them to obviously look like that. They've obviously cut down on obviously a lot of foods that you're still eating. They stop obviously drinking or so a minimal to what you're still doing right now. They've stopped smoking, which you're still doing right now as well. So yeah, to finish this off guys, like I'm saying, maybe you don't even want abs. Maybe you just want a flat stomach, nice and firm. Okay, you can definitely get that. But one thing you need to stop doing is obviously drinking. Stop with the smoking as well. Cut down obviously on the calorie drinks as well. Cut down on the alcohol. And if you're having these certain things and junk foods, then guess what? 
you ain't gonna get the results. You can go gym for hours and hours every single day, but I guarantee you next week and the week after that, you're still gonna be in the same predicament that you was from last week. So this is what you basically do to finalize today. Stop having the certain things that you know that is not benefiting you. If you know it's not benefiting you, why consume it? Simple as that. So this is what you're gonna basically do from today. You're gonna go into your fridge, you're gonna find the certain things that are like microwavable foods, tin foods that obviously shouldn't obviously be there as well. You're also gonna look at certain things like crisps, chocolate, sweets, all these little things. And if these things are still in your fridge, fizzy drinks, throw them in the bin. I know you're not gonna do it, but guess what? I'm telling you that from now. Throw them in the bin, yeah? Because you don't need it at all. It's not gonna get you the results. And go and grab yourself some fresh food, some eggs, some mushrooms, some vegetables, some fish, some chicken, you know. These are the main things that you should have in there, some water. And once you have these things in there, then you're on that next step of actually getting yourself the results. In the morning, get your cardio going. In the afternoon, hit the gym. And if you can't find time to hit the gym, guess what? There are multiple ways for you to get a workout in. And it doesn't need to be in the gym. You could do home workouts at home. You can do workouts outside if the weather's obviously nice, like we are here in Dubai as well. But there's no excuse for you to get out there and do something that's gonna benefit you for the long term, all right? So that's enough for me. My breakfast obviously finished now. I need to go and have my eggs before I go to my next client and train. I will see you soon. Make sure you share, make sure you subscribe and also like. If you wanna see more tips like this, I'll give it a like, share it over to your friends. And like I'm basically saying, do not contact me if you want personal training just to work on your apps. Because guess what I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna do some cardio. Take care, natural physique. See you later.